Good day, everyone. Me and my groupmates will be presenting to you the ancient Mayan civilization and their scientific achievements. Now, the Maya were a diverse group of indigenous people who lived in parts of Central America between about 300 to 900 AD. Now, it was considered the classic period since they had had a lot of scientific achievements done in that time. During that period, the Maya developed a complex understanding of astronomy. They also figured out how to grow crops in sometimes inhospitable places. They also learned how to build elaborate cities without using modern machinery, how to communicate with one another using one of the world's first written languages, and how to measure time using not one, but two very complicated calendar systems. Maya knowledge and understanding of celestial bodies was advanced for their time. For example, they knew how to predict solar eclipses. They also used astrological cycles to aid in planting, harvesting, and develop two calendars. First is calendar round. It was based on two overlapping annual cycles, a 260-day sacred year which contained a day number and a day name, and a 365 secular year that is identified through a day number and a month name. After each interval, the calendar would reset itself like a clock. Because calendar round measured time in an endless loop, it was a bad method of establishing an absolute time. Thus, they created another calendar called the Long Count. Its system grouped days into cycles as you see in the picture. The Long Count calendar worked the same way like the calendar round, but its interval, known as the Grand Cycle, was much longer. Hi, I'm Eliza Luis Rafanan and I'm going to discuss the pyramid at Chichen Itza. Um, so this is the said pyramid. Chichen Itza is the second most popular site for visitors to Mexico. Located on the Yucatan Peninsula, Chichen Itza was a large city built by the Maya people. It is built between 1050 and 1300 BC. The structure is 24 meters high plus an additional 6 meters for the temple at the top. The square base measures 55.3 meters across. So we researched and gathered three important facts that you should know about the pyramid. Number one, Chichen Itza may have been built where it was because of the location of the two large natural sinkholes nearby that would have provided water year-round. Two, in about 600 AD, Chichen Itza had started to gain importance in the region. Between 900 and 1050 AD, Chichen Itza had became a powerful capital. It also controlled northern and central Yucatan at the time. 3. Chichen Itza is considered to be one of the seven wonders of the new world. Um, so that's all for the pyramid. Thank you for listening. Technology was a huge aspect in the Mayan civilization and they were known for their architecture, numerical, and language system. And they were known for their countless innovations, like building looms for weaving cloth and then devising a glitter-like substance or paint which is made from mica, an essential mineral still used in technology today. And they also built a rubber-like substance which is used in Mesoamerican games. And this substance was made from rubber trees mixed in with juice from morning glory vines. So Maya technology was made because of countless ideas and because their innovations and technology was so advanced that it was known up until today. Despite the Maya's remarkable scientific achievements, their culture began to decline toward the beginning of the 11th century. The cause and scope of the decline is a matter of some debate today. Some believe that the Maya were wiped out by war, while others attribute their demise to the disruption of their trade routes. Still, others believe that the Maya's agricultural practices and dynamic growth resulted in climate change and deforestation. While much of what was left of the ancient Maya culture was subsumed by the Spanish conquistadors in the 16th century. The legacy of Mayan scientific achievement lives on in the discoveries that archaeologists, 
continue to make about this amazing ancient culture. And that's it for our presentation. Thank you for listening.